Hello and welcome to the next episode. In this video I will show and tell you about modular battery charger Xstar SN4. This episode is my first video in which I'm trying to speak English. Jeśli chcesz zobaczyć ten odcinek po polsku, link znajdziesz w opisie. And now let's start. Let's begin from unboxing. After cutting the tape and opening the package, I found a box with the charger. Inside I found the charger and USB-C cable. Next, I took out the box with additional module with a battery plate for Canon LPE6. Extra sent to me to the power supply with USB-C port with supporting fast charging. After the purchase we get the charger with battery plate for two batteries Sony NPF. On the front of the charger is the LED indicator with show battery level. Can charge up to four batteries at the same time. Below they are indicator that show the charging current. The charger can charging 3 amperes, 2 amperes and if you indicator is not glowing the device charging have under 2 amperes. Back to the charger, both side you will find the connector for others module with the battery plates. Left and right mount for modules are similar. You can connect any module to any connector on the charger sides. On the top of the charger there is USB-C port, support quick charge 3.0. On the back is the nameplate. We can find information about charging in others configuration. An additional module we can buy is a module with battery plates for Canon LPS6 mount. Of course XTAR 2 offers others module for others popular batteries, so you can customize the charger to your battery type. The module is light and it has two battery plates on each side, so you can charge two battery at some time. Thanks to the battery holders will not fall out while charging. Let's go back for a while to the battery plates from the box. The module is similar for module with Canon LPS6 battery plates, so you can charging two batteries Sony NPF in one time. In the package from Xstar I got the additional power supply with USB-C port. The power supply has max 45 watts and supporting normal and fast charging USB device, which means that you can charge your phone or your power bank with this power supply. The PSU operate with variable output voltage range from 5 to 20 volts and max current to 3 amperes. Another cool feature is the removable adapter with European plug which is hidden under the plug for American sockets. In the box we got the USB-C cable. The cable is supporting data transfer and fast charging. So with this cable you can transfer photos from your phone to computer. Now I will tell you about the charging time. The battery that I have is similar to Sony NPF 970 battery from Newell. It took about 4 hours to charge and was charged with 2 amps. I suppose that the original battery can be charged up to 3 amperes. However, the battery from Blackmagic Design, which is similar to Canon LPE6, was charging up 1 amperes for 3 hours. On the charging time, I have checked method and process of the charging. On beginning charging, the charger measuring voltage and resistance on battery. Next, sending pulse current to max 600 milliamperes by checking how the battery behaves. Then it start full charging. Charging the battery does not heat up the charger. Now go to free little disadvantage with iPhone in this charger. Look on module with battery plates for Canon LPS6. Maybe this is not advantage, but design compromise to save space. But to charge two battery at one time, the bottom battery skips their wall charger as the result we have visual discomfort. But it is not disadvantage because when charging only two batteries, we can place the charger vertical on the side. I think that I can add one notice for the power supply which have only one USB-C port. I believe it would be nice if the power supply had one more USB socket, but tape A for charging old device with old USB cable. However, this is not a fault because the whole device work as it should. I think that the worst fault I have found is that the charger does not work with other power supplies with operate on 5 volts. 
After connection to the old power supply, the charging only flashed the LED levels indicator and is not charging any battery. The charger works only on power supply with quick charge free zero technology. And by the way, the charger fulfills its task. And I think that we get a really nice product from Xstar, which we can customize for our needs. I think this is all in this video. Thank you Xstar for the package. On the end, I think that it is a very nice charger, perfect for trips when small size and modularity is very important. Thank you to my friends who helped me in English translation for this video and you their viewers for watching my video. I hope you enjoy like and comments this video and look at the description and forgive me for my English mistakes. Thank you again everyone and keep on to the next episode.